New York has some of the best Puerto Rican food outside of the island, and today, inspired by the Academy Award-nominated movie West Side Story, we're gonna explore Manhattan's best Puerto Rican eateries. We're trying everything from mafungo to pernil. Hope you brought your appetites. This is gonna be fun. In the movie West Side Story, New York is really one of the characters, and the balconies here, they were really important in the famous singing scene of Tonight. It was like Romeo and Juliet with the balconies, but instead, New York City fire escapes. One of the best scenes of the movie. Casa Adela is absolutely the most famous Puerto Rican restaurant in New York City. Been here since 1976, and you know what? I've never eaten here before. If you don't know what you want to order, I always recommend mofongo. Yeah, it's just it's, it's plantain, right? It's plantains. It's plantains. Yeah, we plantains. With a bunch of veggies, some beef. Let's try it. Mm. Good. It's the first time I ordered a mofongo in New York City that I'm a huge fan of. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. A lot of New York City businesses are struggling right now. There's not an open table midweek during lunch. That says something. Okay, this is my, my ketchup. It's really big in Puerto Rico. No. Our friend introduced us to it and we love it for that reason. It's kind of addictive, just a little. Perfect snack. Oh, wow. These might be the best platanos I've ever had, period, even in Puerto Rico. And I can't believe I'm saying that, but these are out of this world, this melt in your mouth. So this place is really loud because you have families here eating together and it really, really makes me feel like I'm in my aunt's house. It makes me feel at home, I like it. The Puerto Rican population has decreased a ton in New York City. And we're gonna talk later on in the video when the heyday of that population was and where most of the Puerto Ricans were living. Guys, reminder, West Side Story is available right now on Blu-ray and digital with some bonus extra. Steven Spielberg's directing Academy Award nominated inspired this food crawl. You've gotta check it out. This is the only stop that's fast serve. Everything else in the video is restaurants. So this is your quick casual Puerto Rican fix. Essex Market is one of my favorite food halls in all of Manhattan, by the way. So if you're not here for Puerto Rican food, come here for a lot of other stuff. You know what the market line down here actually reminds me of? The rumble scene from West Side Story. It feels like we're in some kind of a warehouse. How are you? Good. Good. I'm John, by the way. Nice to John, meet you. Nice to meet you tomorrow. I'm the chef. The chef. Cool. Anything you want to say about the place where we order? Like anything unique? People love us from the old, old Puerto Rican ladies that are like, oh, yeah? this is great as the island. So like, Right on. Oh, this is heavy. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. This smells like Puerto Rico in a bag. We don't go gentle here, folks. We just rip stuff apart. Okay. Or you call your wife if you want. Or you call your wife. Woo, Coco Rico, coconut soda. I wish you could smell this. Wow. We hadn't said it earlier in the video, Adriana is a little bit obsessed with Puerto Rico, so. Toledo, just Toledo. I was most interested in the Puerto Rican chicken wings here, because the chef said that it's a blend of Puerto Rican spices and American-inspired wings. That's kind of like West Side Story in a way, because Tony and Maria meet, and they're from two different worlds. Heck, Adriana and I, even though she's from Mexico and not Puerto Rico, similar tale, except I don't think her brother wanted to kill me. Who knows? Mm. Mm, this is so good. He was telling me about the adobo and the cane sugar on this. I've never had a chicken wing that tasted quite like this before. Dare I say, very Puerto Rican. I love these spices. Mm, so good. So crispy. The spices are very, very Latin. Something different from the American and the Korean wings. I just love it. Pastelito. This is so good itself, but the salsa definitely adds more flavor. It's great. So if you order this one, definitely add some salsa. Alcapurria. 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 Yeah, I got that rolling R <laughs> thing. Still, still a struggle for me. This is a yuca croquet stuffed with beef inside. It's so good. Mmm. The diced up beef 
perfect. Like, perfect texture, great flavor. I'm a huge fan of yuca. As my friend Christian likes to say, you need mild ketchup on everything in life. <laughs> so let me try this. Mm. Perfect combo. Oh, there it is. You know, I don't know if you can go wrong down here. Quick bites, que chevre. Oh, like, this is the spot. This is one of the best spots in the entire market, by far. Yeah. You know, the Puerto Rican community was so vital to New York City that in the 1980s, they changed Avenue C to have an additional Loisida Avenue there. Adriana, why is it Loisida? Oh, well, when we were in Puerto Rico, there is a famous street that I think is called Loisa, and a friend of us explained they used to be for Lower East Side, but the locals were pronouncing it really fast, Lower East Side, Lower East Side, so it suddenly it became Loisida, so uh, I think that's why. Little play, little play off the New Yorican slang. From 1970 to 1990, 70% 70 of the Puerto Rican population in the mainland US lived in New York City and Spanish Harlem here was the centerpiece of that. Now in the movie West Side Story, it takes place in San Juan Hill, which doesn't even exist anymore. That's where Lincoln Center is at the moment. And that was actually a big part of the movie. If you haven't seen it yet, hint, hint, definitely check it out. You know, at uh, our trips to Puerto Rico, we've been to Lechoneras before. These are spots that specialize in roast pork, pernil like this. This is a little hole in the wall. It's just a counter. Absolutely no frills. Perfect. Rice, yellow beans, pernil. All right, I'm trying some of this legendary pork. Got some garlic sauce on top. My mouth is watering. Mmm, so juicy. I knew that when I came in here, like I had to get this. Like you gotta get the lechonera here. Thirty-two years. Thirty-two years. Alright, take a bite of this. Mm. Muy rico. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. You just tossed us this. I think it's a chicharron, right? Chicharron. <laughs> Mm. All right, we need Ben to try this. Yeah. Ben, try that first. Let's try it. The best. The best. This is good. If you chop this like in half, I could have this like popcorn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could get addicting. <laughs> It's like my grandma did it. I think this may be the best thing we've had all day. This chicharron, foodgasm in your mouth. Okay. Mm. You know, New York doesn't have a lot of Puerto Rican food spots left, but the good ones here, really good. If you enjoyed this video, you've got to check out our tour of Spanish Harlem for even more Puerto Rican food and culture right here.